Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm going to walk you through assembly of my fairy weight or American or non-UK ant weight combat robot. So we have these 3D printed components here. Um, I've actually annealed these two parts. Um, for our drum, you're going to want to have a small little bearing like that. Um, that's just going to be press fit inside this hole right here. Um, so once you get it in that hole, uh, you might have to use a bit of filing to get it in um, the first time. Uh, but once you get it in, just press it down and that's good to go. So we're going to set that aside for right now. Uh, we're going to work on assembling the bot. Before we do so, uh, we're going to put together all of our electronics except for uh, my brushless motor. We keep that separate. But what we have here is I have a dual brushed speed controller. Uh, this is connected up to two N20 motors. These are 500 RPM motors that I have here. I have this connected to an orange RX receiver and that's um, connected to our brushless ESC uh, this also has a small power switch and then the battery is connected up like so. And this is just a 2S LiPo battery. Um, and so the goal is to get all of this tucked nicely inside of here. Um, and so to start this off we're going to put the motors in. Uh, the way I have the motors configured on this particular one based on uh, my mixing on my uh, transmitter is the red are going to face inside. So to do this, we first slide it through so that um, it comes through the hole right here. This gives us enough space to then back it into the spot where it's held into place. And you might have to lift up a little bit to get it over the lip that's there. And it just slots into place just like that. Uh, we'll next do the second one the same way. So again, um, I have red facing forward. I'm going to push it in and then we're just going to nestle it back in again lifting up. Get over. There's a retaining clip. Um, I don't know if you can see it's right inside right there right at the bottom. Just right here where my thumb is. There's that retaining clip. And that keeps the motors from, from popping out. Our Nut here with the screw going in. We're going to keep that flush. Um, on our drum, we have our three millimeter bearing goes there. And then our motor gets press fit inside. We're going to put our wheels on. So we want to make sure we line up the hole with our wheels uh, with our shafts. Those just slide in just like that, make sure they're free spinning, there's no catching anywhere. And we'll do the same thing over here, so this one's down, so we'll put that wheel on. Just like so. Line it up. And we just press fit both those wheels into place. Should be plenty of room for the movement. Uh, we're going to put our electronics inside. So I like to stuff the battery uh, to one side over here. Um, just fits down just like that. Pull the wires aside. We're going to put our brushed ESC attached to the motors and our receiver um, in the back here. So our brushed ESC, once you get it in once, it kind of has a memory of its own. It'll kind of just go into place. Um, and then we're going to put our receiver um, in with that. Uh, make sure that the metal is not touching each other, otherwise it'll short itself out. Um, and we won't be able to start up. Um, if you want to make sure it's um, working, you can always power it on at this point. But we're going to keep 
moving forward, um, we're going to attach our drum and our motor. I want to make sure that the holes on the drum match up with the holes on our printed part. Uh, we also want to have these motors coming out at the bottom. That way when this goes in, uh, those wires can be pulled out of the way. So when we mount our drum, the uh, simplest thing we'll do is to feed these wires into the main body of the bot. Just gets them in the right spot. Um, we can just pull those out of the way. Um, it's also going to help us line this up. I would also put some of these screws in first. So we're just going to do two screws right now, uh, but you'll probably want to do all four. Uh, but if you have to save weight, you can get away with just doing two. Um, once we have that in place, uh, we're just going to tighten these down. Okay, with those tightened into place, uh, we're now ready to tighten our, our screw here. Um, and so we're just going to match that up with the bearing inside and we're going to screw that closed. Um, you're going to want to tighten this with a screwdriver. Um, you may want to put some Loctite on this to keep it into place. Um, I've now designed the bot so that when it rotates it actually should self screw. Um, so hopefully that won't be a problem but if you're worried about it um, you might want to put some Loctite on that uh, just to make sure. Um, but I want to make sure it's good and tight. Uh, I want to make sure this, this freely rotates without any problems. Alright, so with that in, uh, we're going to connect it up to our ESC. And then what I like to do at this point is so once we have that wired up, what we're going to do is we're going to tape away those wires and then we're going to do a quick test before we try and tuck everything else away. Um, and the purpose of this test is just to make sure that it's spinning in the right direction. Now if you've already wired those up properly and you know they're going to spin in the right direction then you're good to go, but otherwise uh, we're just going to do a quick test. We're going to turn on our transmitter And then we're just going to spin that up just really quickly. Don't want to have any fingers in there. See how we're spinning the wrong direction? So, what we're going to do is just take out one of these wires and we're just going to swap places with one of these other pins. And we're going to want to make sure that uh, all our wiring is still getting out of the way. Then we're going to test it again. Now we're spinning the right direction, the right direction. So with that, uh, we can turn it off. Okay, power it down. And now it's safe to go back in. Uh, what we're going to do is now we're going to um, tuck all this wiring and make sure that it's all um, tucked away. Um, and so for as many of these as I can, I'm going to put some plastic in between the ESCs or the ESC and the receiver. If you use the smaller receiver, this shouldn't be too much of a problem actually because um, it's so tiny you can really just get it out of the way. Um, uh, the thing we're going to want to make sure we definitely protect our um, our wheels. We don't want any wires. Um, going up into our wheels. Uh, those could cause uh, blockages. I had that uh, in a tournament recently and not a good thing. Uh, make sure that when you get it all in that we can put our cap on. 
Uh, you want the cap to have this big part should go in the back, so the thicker end should go in the back, like so. And if you have it tucked it, to everything put in a good spot, you should be able to just press fit it like that. And every, oop, you need to tuck that guy down. Should be able to just press fit it, um, and it should stay on. Uh, you're going to want to tape that closed anyway during competition, um, but when it's just sitting around, you should be able to get everything in such that it has a nice press fit. Just like that. And it should hold in the place. And there we have our bot. So I gotta do is power it on. Um, I would put tape um, around the edges uh, just to keep it down when you're battling at somebody, um, and even when you're testing it, just so it doesn't pop off. Uh, but it should have enough friction to kind of keep it in place. Um, I like using some transparency here. Uh, what that allows uh, is the light to shine through. But there's our bot, um, Siren, completely assembled. Again, I may want to use four screws for weight considerations, but make sure your wheels um, flow freely. There's nothing impeding on them. So sorry, the wheels flow freely. Um, make sure top and bottom that this can rotate without hitting um, the ground. So if you just put some pressure on that, you can feel how it's not hitting the ground. So that's good. Uh, that means we have the clearance we need. Um, and that's Siren. Uh, good to go.